I was introduced to officiating by Commander Kuje, who is. This is the first Nigerian female international volleyball referee, and she is popularly called I Madam Sheba. I am Amy Officer Sheba Jefferson, retired. I'm uh, the first female international referee volleyball in Nigeria. Let me tell you some things about Madam Sheba. She hailed from Gombe State. And when I was in grade two, that is when I. Uh, Madam Sheba, who happened to be from Gombe, married in Bauchi. She stayed in Bauchi and got her in Bauchi. But her husband is from Adamawa. So I happened to see her in, a, in the referee circle. Despite the fact that she's an army officer. And yet, she decided to join the referee circle too. And since then, We've been together and she called me Yayana, that's her senior brother, and I call her Kamwata, that's my younger sister. In fact, she is she became my I'm her senior sir, but she became my first mate when we went for international referee. So we did the course together, we passed together and we are still moving together. As she is an international referee, I'm an international referee. And Sheba, she's somebody that I know that she always likes telling the plain truth. If you are the type that, in fact, try to do rubbish or whatever, she won't even have time for you. And whenever you offend her, she'll just tell you her mind and it's over. That's why if you look at the volleyball family, whenever they see her, they will say, ah, mama, mama, everybody, mama, mama. Is this a uh, popular saying about Madam Sheba, about the level of discipline when she is officiating? The moment she tells you this is the final decision, you don't challenge it. And these are uh, things that you see when I started from this officiating, courageous I uh, asked my God to help me. Uh, sincerity is the bedrock to success. I dislike where a team will be cheated. And honestly, if I officiated my match, I always like to see the two teams, even, even if it is the, the loser, he will be happy he lost. Not that I am influenced to his losing. And I hate seeing where referees will compromise. I don't compromise. What I saw is what I'm going to whistle. Because I asked God, anytime God help me, I should not be partial in my judgment. And honestly, to today, God has helped me. I think I am fair to myself. Uh, you are very, very much correct. Because yeah. I think, you know, like, like, like we talked about, She's 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 one of the most respected um, person in the era of volleyball in Nigeria, you know. And let's just forget the fact that she's a referee. You know, she's also an officer, a senior officer at that. And so, and she she's one of this person that you know you you can't just help but to just love her. So you really need to give because her the respect, the everything that she needs because she's not biased and uh, she always makes sure. This is done in a proper way. Yeah. And uh, hardly will you complain about our officiating. Though, even you know, officiating is of two sides. Either it favors you exactly. or it does not favor you. If it does not favor you, nobody wants that. Yeah, or yeah. if it favors you, of course, you will be like, oh, <laughs> See, on top of the world. But well, let's hear what some of the players have to say okay. about her. All right, uh, my name is Dada Saji. I play for Nigerian Correctional Service. Uh, I met uh, Madam Sheba Jefferson uh, way back, like uh, 20, should be 2010-2011 in volleyball cycle. And it happens to be that she's my sister because we're all in the same local government where she comes from. Uh, one thing I know about her, she's somebody that's very active, 
and we always like to, uh, to, to make things right, to make things go the way it's supposed to be all the time. She doesn't like a failure and also she's like uh, somebody like a boss lady that uh, she always likes to be involved in whatever things that is uh, taking place around her and always uh, make sure things go well in her own size and she don't take shit when she's appreciated, especially when she's found her stance. She doesn't um, listen to anyone and she doesn't look at face before she officiates, officiates what she see and also what is right. I think that's little that I say about uh, Madame Silva Zepusi. My name is Andrew Sonde from uh, Wiki Spikers. I play both beach volleyball and then indoor volleyball also. And uh, I know Madame Sheba from Bochi. She's a woman that is bold in, what, in whatever she's doing. And she's a uh, She's an international referee. She's jovial, she's playful, and she's always serious at the same time whenever she's officiating. Okay, what the Bauchi coach has to say about her? Okay, my name is uh, Coach Mondi Dada, the assistant coach of uh, Wiki Spikers of Bauchi. And uh, uh, Madam Sheba, as we formally call her or usually call her, we call her the Iron Lady. I know her since my playing days because, uh, oh, fortunate enough, she started her volleyball career in Bauchi. And uh, up to the time she became a, a bad referee. And up to the time she graduated to an international referee. And up to the time she retired from the service in the Nigerian Army as a staff sergeant. Uh, Madam Shiva has been an inspiration to us, especially uh, young players and young coaches and even young referees. She's always out there to teach you and to help you, to guide you so that you get it right. She's a very, very loving and nice woman that uh, she will not hesitate to tell you the truth about anything she feels you are doing. And we really appreciate her. And we wish her well in her endeavors. Thank you. Some of the ingredients in life is courage, honesty, discipline, good feelings, friendship. And you can all see this around uh, Madam Shiva everywhere she goes. Money. She assists. If she has the money, you will know. So dash. That's why the players, everybody will be calling Mama Dash. Even us in the depot where she, she served. And internationally, honestly, I would say, if we, if we go out together, I see it. If I go alone, they will ask me, where is Mama, Madam Sheva? How about Madam Sheva? Because of the, her generosity, her humbleness. She doesn't hold people in mind, and she, she doesn't envy any other person. She likes people's progress. That's why in African referee, everybody likes Mama Sheba. They will be asking of Sheba. And right now, like I'm telling you, she is my second. I mean, yes, she's second to me because I'm the first vice chairman, and she is the second vice chairman. She has been the treasurer when I when yes I was the treasurer. After my second tenure, she became the treasurer of the Nigerian Volleyball Referees Association. Then later on, after her own tenure, I then came back as the treasurer. Before now, I aspire, or I aspire to, to be the first vice, and she's now the second vice. And if you have, if you want to know the truth, the plain truth about any other thing, maybe Madam Shiva will tell you. But she's a good person, as I know. I, I know. One has, I mean, one can never be perfect from all indications. She must have little shots coming where other people may see. But me, even if she's that one, I, I just, I normally take it as an oversight because her good side of it supersedes any other thing. So I just consider her as a nice person to me, as my own perception and my own mindset. Yes, one of the person that has inspired me, I have said it earlier, Commander Kuje. The second one, I have Lieutenant General T.Y. Buratai, that he has helped me in all my seminars. And my previous 
chief of army staffs that they have been assisting me in building my capacity building i travel and they are always there for me i really appreciate them even when i'm retired today i am still with the nigerian army volleyball team that is coerced shooters it is because of my past experience and my dedication i am still with them and i will continue to be with them